That's just part of the comments from State Board of Education member Ella Bell sparking controversy tonight. Bell maintains that she what she said had been taken out of context, but that hasn't quelled calls for her to step down. CBS 42 News reporter Jack Royer is live in our newsroom tonight. Jack, now there is a petition circulating to have Bell removed. Sherry, this petition on change.org was started only today, and it's already garnered massive support. Many are demanding Bell resigns. Tonight, she's tried to walk back those comments from a June meeting, saying that people need to hear all of what she had to say then. A day after Bell's comments came to light, parents and advocates of special needs children came together at a meeting of the Alabama Disabilities Advocacy Program, or ADAP. All fierce critics of anything resembling what Bell suggested. It really confused me. Jen Horton has a child with special needs. I don't see that there's any reason for someone to feel that our children are limited or that our children bring people down. Bell's comments from a June 21st State Board of Education meeting sparked anger from many when she suggested moving special needs students out of classrooms to improve test score averages by not including them. I'm trying to see if you can move them out. Now a change.org petition has amassed over 50,000 signatures in just 12 hours, wanting her removed immediately from the State Board of Education. Responding online, Bell says she has never considered institutionalizing students with special needs like the article suggests. ADAP officials say the notion of moving them at all is absurd. Where a child is educated, depends on that child's individual needs. It totally violates what um, federal law provides in terms of making those placement decisions. Our public system owes a public education to every single student who walks through those doorways. Now parents simplifying their thoughts on the matter with a message for Ella Bell. I want to let them know that our children are human beings, not test scores. Bell has plans to speak to one of our sister stations in Montgomery on Monday as attempts tonight to reach her by CBS 42 for comment were unsuccessful. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.